BlackFacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Tula Regard Tula, also known as Tula Regard, was an African man enslaved on the island of Curaçao, in the Dutch West Indies, who liberated himself and led the Curaçao Slave Revolt of 1795. Tula bore the nickname of Regard, named after the Haitian General Benoit Joseph Regard, one of the heroes of the Haitian Revolution. Tula was a slave field worker on Plantation, Nip, owned by Caspar Lodwig van Utrecht. He was aware of the French Revolution and the revolutionary ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity. He knew that the French Revolutionary regime had occupied a large part of Europe and that this regime wanted to abolish slavery in the French colonies. Netherlands was placed under French rule, it was Tula's conviction that slavery would soon be abolished here, in Curaçao, as well. In 1795 the slave population of Curaçao, a former Danish colony in the Caribbean, staged a month-long revolt that threw much of the island into chaos. Father Jacobus Schneek, who was sent during the revolt in 1795 by the colonial government as a mediator to meet with the rebellious slaves, is the only one who had spoken with Tula whose recordings are preserved in the government archives. His account starts on August 19th when he spoke with Captain Tula at Plantation House, Porto Mari, at half past eight in the evening. As Father Schneek conveyed the proposals of the government to Tula, Mr. Van der Bridge, a horseman captured by the rebels, heard the rebels say in French, Le cure vint ici pour nous cajoler, the priest comes here to flatter us. Schneek also heard the rebels softly singing French revolutionary songs at night. The revolt, which began on August 17, 1795, lasted for more than a month. After the revolt was quelled Tula was sentenced to death, the execution took place on October 3, 1795 at Riff, the Reef, on the south coast of the island in Otrabanda. Little is known about Tula's personal life, not even from official documents that have been preserved. Reverend Bosch, who arrived in Curaçao in 1816, wrote that he had spoken to people that had personally known Tula. They recalled him as articulate and a man of great stature. He is revered in Curaçao today as a fighter for human rights and independence. Learn more at blackfacts.com.